Hi, I'm Alistair Davidson, a Master Trainer for DaVinci Resolve, and today we're going to have a quick look at rendering directly from Resolve to your social media platform of choice. DaVinci Resolve supports rendering to online platforms like Twitter, Vimeo and Frame.io. And the way to set this up and to perform this is really simple. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come to the preferences in the top left of DaVinci Resolve. If I click on DaVinci Resolve and then Preferences, or I use Control comma or Command comma if I'm on a Mac, it'll open up the preferences for me here. At the top we'll have System and User. I want to make sure I'm on the System tab here. And down the left hand side I can select Internet Accounts here. You see there's the option for me to link four different internet accounts my YouTube, Vimeo, Twitter, and Frame.io. I currently have my Frame.io linked, so I'm just going to use that as an example. Once we've done our edit and we have our timeline, we can jump across to the Deliver page, and along the top here, you'll see we have presets for YouTube, Vimeo, Twitter, and if I scroll along, we even have one for Frame.io. What we can do here is just like rendering any other file, I can give this a name, I'll call this uh, render test. I can choose where I'm rendering it to on my Frame.io account. I'll just choose there. Okay. I will just choose uh, this demo project here. I can choose the resolution I want to render at, the frame rate and the codec, as well as giving it a description. Once I add that to my render queue and hit render, Resolve will not only render the file, but it will also add it to my Frame.io account. It's just two hours ago. I hope this has been helpful. Let us know if there's anything else you want to know about DaVinci Resolve by contacting the ScanPro video team.